don't trust Rob. Daisy, don't touch him. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Oh wow, it's already five o'clock. Church is so late. Mm. Anyway, I got the girls' room under control-ish. <laughs> like you can see the floor, so that's good news. House tour coming, maybe tonight or tomorrow. Tonight or it. tomorrow. It doesn't have to be perfect, just acceptable. It's mm -hmm. not ready yet. Nope. Okay, when Davy has no idea what he's talking house about. Tour We're still coming a few months soon. Out. House tour coming soon. I want to so. decorate. Okay. Yeah, just use no so. words of when. Maybe I'll just show you. No, it needs to be at least kind of done. A little bit. It's okay. not even close. I want to get my hutch done before. That's the thing. I'm, I'm gonna say I have to get my hutch done and put in place before I do the house tour. That's my. You guys, we've been cue. going through a lot of firsts on our house. This was our first Sunday morning in the house together. We had our first dinner the other night. A lot of firsts. The first Sunday, we're not going to visit Coco because she actually lives with we us. We left now. Coco today. It was actually a little bit sad because she was like thinking she got to come, bouncing around, jumping in circles, and I was just like, "Sorry, well, Coco. See you, Coco. <laughs> You're not gonna come." <sighs> She might rip up the house in no, revenge. She won't. She's done that before. Pass that back to Daisy. We're eating chips in the oh, car. Oh, and my mom's cat Newman died. Yeah, it's really sad. It's kind of a he's like 18 years 18 old. 18 human years oh, old, yeah. and Newman's mother got run over by a car and couldn't give birth to Newman and my little brother like saved up his money and I think it was my like two thousand dollars it was some expensive like it was like an expensive or something. surgery and two or four hundred they had like so that. instead of putting her down and the baby's dying they paid for it the surgery so this like is like a the, section for the yeah kitty. this is the baby of that cat and it finally died and Buried her in my mom's backyard. Next time we go there, we'll show you. The, there's a lot of dead animals. Yes, buried. Newman is a girl, if that makes any sense whatsoever. And Newman also had one green eye and one blue eye. Pretty he cool lived cat. A long life. That cat was really a loved cat in our family. Very loved, but like the last 10 years, last five years, really disgusting. Like, I kept thinking, Newman, you need to just. Die. No, it, it was it was disgusting. Yeah, it, like Doug heard about it and he was like, Why is everybody sad that the cat died? Nobody even touched it. It just it just kicked it out of the way and told I it would, to get out. I know, I mean it was so disgusting. It was like a really old, disgusting cat. But I mean they just get like that. They loved you. it. I Ender would pet it, it and wash my hands right after, but So rest in peace. Newman. Jimmy Joe is Jimmy really Joe's. sad. Take it easy. He doesn't take the death of the Hopefully we we'll see her and Kevin. We will see her and Kevin. Yeah, we for sure will. With your uh with your ha hamster. Mr. Hamster. What's the name of that hamster? Daddy. What? Hermie. Hermie? Did we ever show them the clip of Zaid when Hermie died? Uh uh. -huh. No, I haven't uploaded that yet. You know what? Insert that clip now. It was really hard on Zaid.
I remember. He loved Ernie. He allowed us to speak. <coughs> like, like sometimes in the middle of the night, I, I wake up and, and stay connected to all my hands and to hold them for a minute and put them back in the middle of the night. And then yeah. Oh, but I really get about Maybe them a little bit. Maybe should to ask for some comfort. I think this is a good <coughs> time to ask for some comfort. You need some, <coughs> some comfort in your heart from, from the don't you think? Babe, you had some good times though. They used to make you laugh. And that doesn't take away born. those times. <laughs> yes, it does. This is not I'm going to live sit. for a very long time. Like until I'm as old as Erica Frank. And then I'll die. And that took me. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. fake crying. It's real crying. Don't no, believe it. You're going to make... No, I'm not. Steve, I'm so sad. Can we say a prayer? Please? Can we just say a prayer and ask for some comfort? Because I don't want you to be sad forever. I know that word sometimes. I'll, I'll, I'll probably just cry the whole prayer. I'll say it. Okay. Fold your arms. Maybe we should kneel down and have family prayer. Mm -hmm. Those are the strongest prayers because we're all together. So, <coughs> in here, kneel down. All right, it, was, it was really sad today. It's gerbil died or hamster died. Kind of generally, dum -dum. And a little bit of the bad story was a pretty close to the same time that Grandpa Fred died. So, we had a lot of deaths. Grandpa Fred was, was sad. The, my grandpa, my mom's dad. Roseanne's dad, yeah. So, so yeah. You, yeah, just watch for that in the video. Let us know what you think. Comment below. Oh, oh Coco. We just got home. Oh. Oh, Ender's doing that head Oh, Ender. Whoa, oh. That's oh, painful. Yeah. No, Amber, don't do that to dogs. Oh, you loving on Coco? All right, you guys, We I should have got the camera out when my dad was telling the story, but it was so loud there, you could not even hear anything, so it would have been useless. It was like we were yelling to talk to each other, but my dad told me this story that I'd never heard before. It's amazing. I think it's an amazing story. Kind of crazy. Well, it came up because I was like, oh, we were making a joke. Everyone was getting in line to get dinner. Oh, great. What? Yay, it's our first That's spider. Our second oh. spider. That's actually oh. our second spider. Did grandma one. kill one? Yeah. What are we gonna do with one. it? Get yeah. a tissue. They're in the no, no they don't! Please. What? Don't just run. Daisy, don't touch him. Well, you can watch the video later, okay? What happened? That they touched so it. Yeah. You touched it? I got to get jumped on me out of Running around. <laughs> That'll teach him to touch spiders. Okay, so let me tell you this story about my dad. Okay, so my dad at 18 was drafted in the Marine Corps, and he did not want to be there. And all of his friends were sent to the Army, and he was sent to the Marine Corps. So, like, he was the skinny... <laughs> Like, little skinny, not so smart guy. They called him stupid because he didn't really read or write really well and he was a little dyslexic and he never really did that well in school. So they were really mean to him and he hated it and they would like try to fatten him up. He said that they would like make him eat like three times the portion of everyone else trying to make him fat because they wanted the, they just wanted the, the fat guys to get skinnier and the skinnier guys to get bigger, so they were trying to fatten him up. But here's the thing about my dad. You could feed him all day, every day, and he's still skinny. Like, he eats whatever he wants, he's skinny. So I kind of inherited that, because I really don't exercise a lot, and I eat really crappy, and I can still stay skinny for the most part. But he does have a gut now. Why am I talking about this? Okay, cut all that out. Anyway. So they picked on him a lot. He got beat up again a lot. Like everyone would just beat him up because they'd say, do you want to be a Marine? And he'd say, no, sir. And they like beat the crap out of him. <laughs> so
So I was like listening to this story going, what? So um, he hated it pretty much. He wanted to go home. Every time they asked him if he wanted to be a Marine, he'd say, no, sir, and they'd beat him up. So one day they had all the guys go out and shoot. They were learning to do the rifle. And he'd never shot before, and so they were like, well, that's actually kind of good because then we don't have to unteach you all the crap you've been doing wrong. So they taught him how, they lined them all up, they went to the range, and they shot. He got like the best score out of everyone, like top of the line, what did he even call it? Like, anyway, this master rifle guy. <laughs> and they were all blown away, and they were like, he says he remembers them saying, crap. We can't have a stupid rifle. Uh, what did they call it? It's like a, I can't even remember the name, but it was like, not marksman, but anyway. So they were like, we can't have this really stupid shooter. We need him to be smartened up. So they started respecting him. He's like, everything changed at that point. Everyone was really nice to me. They went, oh, look, someone got in their jammies. Then they were like, we can't have a stupid shooter that's this good. So they sent him to school and smartened him up and he said he did smarten up. He like learned to read and write a little bit better. And so then they were like, okay, good. Now he's got a smart shooter. He's amazing. And they were trying to like totally undo all the horrible stuff they've done to him. Like he was saying that they sent him like, one of his friends sent him a care package for his birthday that had like popcorn and candy and all these goodies in it. And this is before he shot and they were like they showed it to him made sure he knew it was his and then like didn't give him any and let all the other guys eat it dispersed out through all the guys <laughs> in the bunk whatever he was like they were so horrible and then he shoots so good and they were like so nice to him and then they kept saying like why are you here he's like i was drafted well so they bring him into the office and they said um, do you want to be a Marine? And he said, no, sir. Like he stayed stuck to his guns the whole time, all through boot camp and everything. And, um, so they were like, all right. They just gave him a, dis a, a an honorable discharge because he didn't want to be there. But it's like the craziest story. Like my dad and I was like, dad, how come I didn't know you could shoot? Like, an am like apparently amazing, like an amazing shooter. And I had no idea that my whole life, <laughs> that my dad is this amazing shot with the rifle. And no, like, had no clue. And I was like, how come you didn't teach us how to shoot? He's like, we didn't have guns. I was 18 when this happened. I'd never shot before. As soon as I got out, I didn't shoot again. Like, I couldn't afford a gun. <laughs> he just got married and had six kids. And then, that's <laughs> so crazy. Like, these stories you hear about your parents. <gasps> you found Sunset Shimmer? Wow, sunset shimmer. She has go on hold. Yeah, go give her a hug. Brush your teeth. Okay, go brush your teeth with her. Show sunset shimmer how you brush your teeth. Okay, good job. So yeah, and I'm like, why did I not hear this story before? My mom was like, she knew the story really well. She was like telling half of it, and I was like, what the heck? And then I started thinking, maybe it's because. I probably didn't like listening to stories when I was a kid, and now I do. So I'm betting that you guys haven't heard a story about your parents or grandparents. So ask them some questions and get talking. And it was really fun to hear this story about my dad. Um, and makes me wonder if I picked up a rifle, if I would be like, amazing. You never know. Uh, anyway, I don't think I'm going to go get a rifle or start shooting. But interesting fact about my dad. And now we are going to, I just went upstairs to where the kids' bedrooms are. Ooh, you're kind of getting a little torn. And you guys are going to bed, right? Ooh, did you swallow any? Good. Because it will burn your throat and you will die. Just kidding. Yeah, Daisy swallowed some of this the other day, guys. Do you think she's going to live? I don't know why she swallowed the candy. Why are you acting like Gollum? Gollum, go to bed. Say precious. Go say precious. Daisy, try to do it. Yeah. Go say precious. <laughs> Creepy. Okay. Good night. We're going to bed. Everyone's in bed. Say precious.
That is your golem. Good night, guys. Thanks for Good watching. Night. We'll see you tomorrow. That is your golem. That is your golem. This is a golem. Ah, yes. Oh, my heck. <laughs>